like the idea of changing people's minds about what it is to be a stripper. I feel like I could do my show buck naked with not a stitch of clothing on and still do it in a classy way. I've come under a lot of fire for like, you know, it's it's not stripping's not classy. I'm like, well, I'm gonna show you that it is. When you right. have general so, acceptance totally. of everybody, you're existing right. and the safe and the mediocre and people will forget you. I feel like my entire career is uh, based on my love of lingerie. I got more into the idea of bringing this kind of glamour photography back, creating retro fetishistic imagery that, you know, people remember Betty Page for and sort of, you know, being the living, breathing version of that. So I just felt like I couldn't really relate to a lot of the modern standards of beauty, you know, what, what I see on the Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Issue. There's no way for me to arrive to that. I have nothing in common with those girls. I was working in the LA underground nightclub scene as a go-go dancer and then I walked into a strip club. It was just like rock and roll and bikinis and tans and beautiful California blondes. It developed quite a following of, of um, women that would come to see me and uh, affluent, educated men that were intrigued by this girl with like pale skin and black hair walking around. What I thought was like, you know, uh, like I have no competition here. There's nobody like me here. That's another thing that I learned about myself is like, what makes you different makes you uh, valuable to people. I love that idea right. that you can cover something up and create a whole like, Mis like yeah. lust for it. I'm self-styled. I don't have a glam squad around me. I taught myself how to do it and it's really been empowering for me. Glamour is not about natural beauty, it's not about youth, it's not about being a certain ethnicity, it's like about mm -hmm. creating, weaving a web of magic, and that's what I love about it, it's for everyone. I would not be sitting here right now in a mini skirt, I would never be sitting here in a mini skirt talking to you, it's just like, mm -hmm. I don't like to show that much leg. Mm -hmm. I have dimmer switches in every room of my house, I choose colors that I think are flattering on my skin, I know pink light is going to make me look better, and I love like creating like a space that makes mm -hmm. me feel good. But I'm the same girl that goes into the dressing room and tries on a bathing suit and goes, whoa, mm -hmm. why, is that what I really look like? If you dropped into my, my burlesque show, which is a striptease show, I have 80% of the ticket holders are, are women. I love seeing <laughs> women with no clothes on and like, going, wow, she is so beautiful, man, are so lucky. Like all those curves. And I got to see my lingerie collection on um, you know, 30 different kinds of women, different ethnicities, different body shapes, different ages, like, see that it didn't just look, work on me, and in fact it worked even better on some of these other women. I got really excited. I was in, um, in Ibiza, and I'd been hired to do this private birthday party. I remember getting there, and I was really excited. It was like the whole family was there, the little girls, their, the daughters kept sneaking in my dressing room. And I had talked to the mother, I was like, I'm really like, I'm nervous about doing my show in front of your little girls. And she was like, I, you know, that's absurd. My girls have been seeing nudity um, since they were little girls so they don't have to hang up and when they watch you they're, and she was like this is the image of woman I want them to grow up with and you know they see girls in nothing but a g-string here in Ibiza on the beach all day and they have a very you know healthy relationship right. with like nudity and that's you know but but I even felt that my American upbringing had I was putting that on myself and on them and they it's were like creates, it's, it's what's you're creating pornography it's silly yeah, yeah. <laughs> they thought it was silly it's inspiring for me when I see somebody that is achieving greatness that maybe is slightly against the odds and I found that throughout like mm -hmm. everyone that I admire has a little bit of that and they're willing to say like I am not really that great at this, but people think I am because I made them believe that I am. You know, I like that. I really enjoy dating older, more established men because I liked feeling more like inexperienced around a man. I don't care about a man having money or his own power or all that stuff. I thought, oh, it doesn't matter. I just want to be loved. And then I realized, like, oh no, you have to care about this stuff because. He needs that too. He needs to feel like he has some power in the relationship. And if you just take all that away, um, mm -hmm. it can be really, really tricky. I am presenting a very idealized, fantastic, you know, f not real version of sexuality. It's all created and with the lighting and the costumes, not anything close to who I am as a real sexual person.